Hashem, Hashem, Na'asev, Na'atziach. This week's parsha is Bahalotcha, and today I wanted to talk about one of the most fascinating subjects I heard from my Rebbe, Harav Ben David Shlita, Maran. We're recording the Lulish Matavim Moriah Ter Doshi Shlomo Chaim Ben David, and in Kaparad Mishkavo. We learn about Kivrot HaTa'ava, where the Jews do a terrible, terrible thing. Look at Shishi, chapter 11, in this week's parsha, Bamidbar, the fourth book of the Torah, the Torah here teaches us that the most poisonous and dangerous thing that makes us lose anything meaningful in our life is where we're gluttonous. We lust and desire things we don't need. Basically, the Jews come and talk disparagingly, negatively about the holy food God gave them, the manna. And they say, this is disgusting, we desire meat. And God sends them the, the shlav. It's a type of fowl that is very meaty and juicy. And take a look at Pasuk 32, Lev. It says, The Jews were so gluttonous that each one of them made 10 piles of the birds that you could load 10 donkeys with. Now, how much room does a person's stomach have? And it was here that Moshe asked that God should relieve him of his duties, and God said, okay, I'll send you 70 bank, back up, the 70 elders. We learn in the Mishnah, HaKin'ah, HaTa'ava, V'Akavod, Motzi'in et Adam in Olam, in Perkei Avod, it says, jealousy, love of lust, overindulgence, and honor seeking destroys your world and throws you out of your world, sends you to a terrible place where you don't belong. And this is human nature. We see that we have such a dangerous poison inside of us that they're getting the most perfect food in the world, that you don't even have to go to the bathroom. It's pure nutrition. It could taste like any food you want in the wor world. Pizza, kebab, the manna, and the Jews say, no, this is not enough. We want asaf saf. We want to gather more and more and more. And this is the danger in human nature. It's called yesh lo mana rotsema time. If you have a hundred dollars you want, you desire for two hundred. And it's never enough. This is what we have to control. We have to realize that if the honor that God has given you in your life, your position, or the circumstances you're in, you're jealous of, or you're seeking more honor, or you want to indulge more and more, whether sexually or food, be a glutton, there's an unlimited capacity where you can become so addicted that we see the Torah says, each person took 10 times, probably 100 times more of these birds than it was necessary. And that's why the Chazonish says, we have to be so careful not to overindulge, not to arouse, to be satisfied with our lot, not to arouse our lust and desire and our craving and our overindulgence. Because the Chazoni says there's some terrible characteristics like being angry, like being haughty, like being selfish. But the worst of them, Avi Avot Hamtuma, in his letters, the Chazonish writes, is the desire to overindulge in eating. And the Rambam says this also. He says, Shefichut damim gilui arayot, to murder, which is the ultimate example of selfishness, or gilui arayot, which is the worst case of adultery. What's worse and more dangerous and poisonous than all of them? Gluttony. Because what kicked us out of the Garden of Eden is God gave us every perfect food. See, really what happened in this week's parsha is a mirror of what happened in the Garden of Eden. God gave us any and all desirable foods in the world. One thing He didn't give us and we complained and we went after that, that one tree and we succumbed to the evil inclination of the Satan. So we hope Hashem should realize. We have to realize that God has sent us into this world to study Torah, to be kind, not to take a hundred times more than we need. 
I know so many people, they build these mansions with rooms they're never going to sleep in and use. They buy, they buy cars that they're really never going to drive just to show off. This is the biggest tragedy because you waste your life on nonsense which could be taken away from you in a second. And instead of studying Torah, learning Musar, self-perfection and carrying out the mitzvot and making the world a better place, we fall into this endless ocean of indulgence, indulgence, indulgence. And this is the biggest danger in today's society where people are never happy with their lot. They always want the latest iPhone. They buy 50 pairs of shoes. It's so unfortunate that in America to have fun, you don't exercise or go on a picnic or a hike. The girls go out to the mall, even if they have 50 outfits. And this is the beginning of the end. This is what kicked us out of the Garden of Eden. When we are not appreciative of what God gave us and we always complain and we always lust to overindulge more and more, we're in the hands of the Satan. And it's the beginning of the end. So may Hashem help us to realize we have to be so careful. And I said a beautiful mashal, parable. We people are like a car. It needs unleaded gas to drive. If you add extra stuff in, it's just going to destroy it. That's true with our lives. Of course, we need money and we need health and we need to be comfortable. But when you add extra gas, extra ingredients, it doesn't cause the car to drive safely. It causes it to explode. When we want to eat and indulge and grab honor and power and show off a hundred times more like the Jews did in this week's process than we need, that's a self-destructive bomb. And that's what we have to bury, kivrot ta'ava. We have to bury that terrible, terrible desire of never being content and having this unlimited appetite for anything and everything new. And such people are miserable. The happy person is happy with his lot. The happy person knows that he's on a mission here to be the best person he can be, to study Torah, to overcome his evil inclination. May Hashem help us that never in the history of mankind was our culture inculcated with this desire of access, which the Torah teaches us is so poisonous and dangerous. May Hashem help us to always be happy and grateful for what we have and not desire and fall into this dead cesspool of ocean of unlimited desire, which is so poisonous and is a nuclear poison to our soul and our well-being. Amen.